Currently, I'm thinking about doing about bioplastics because, like, like in Korea right now, there is a huge problem in the Four River project. Like, you can check out the links over here. And it's a huge problem because governments try to link the Four Rivers together to advance in transportation. And it turned out it was a huge failure. And due to the slowing down of the currents, to the slowing down of the currents, um, a lot of algae blooms and blooms and the water quality are going really really bad. So as I was researching through that particular problem which really interested me, I came across algae and I've been always been interested in algae because <coughs> before this idea I also looked into algae biofuels and which didn't really work out because I bought an algae and it didn't really grow so I have to move on. And so now, back again, I look at algae and plants and I'm trying to connect links with like multiple aspects and I came across this article where um, people are trying to make bioplastics with chitin, chitins, like those hard shell species like crabs and shrimps. So I felt it was also possible to do it with cellulose, which is also a part of the plant where it is used for structure. So why not use cellulose to make bioplastic? Now I'm pretty, pretty sure this is from plant matter. It's going to be really biodegradable and helpful for the environment. So that's the theory in my mind. Using cellulose from algae because algae grows really fast. And since they're small, they have a high surface area. Thus a lot of cellulose. So using that to make bio bioplastic. And I'm doing some current researches and I haven't gotten much yet. It's taking some effort. I've looked through by hydrogen gels and everything. And it's quite confusing. 